Well, just moments ago, Julie, Henrico police confirmed the names of those involved in this homicide here behind us here on Brookwater Drive. They say the victim is 64-year-old uh, Mui Ung Baron. Detectives were here for nearly 10 hours investigating today. See all this activity going on this morning was pretty shocking. Mitchell Beebe describes an uncommon sight in his Henrico neighborhood. There's probably 10 police cars out there, I'd say an ambulance and two fire trucks. Just before seven Monday morning, police rushed to a home on Brookwater Drive for a suspicious situation. I did actually see a man in handcuffs being brought from the house and put into a squad car. You recognize that person? Yeah, that's that's the husband. I checked online county property records that show Michael Lewis Barron owns the home. Online jail records show officers booked and charged 53-year-old Michael Lewis Barron with second-degree murder. And he's the only person I've seen come out of the house, aside from police officers and, uh, and other investigators. Crime Insider sources tell CBS 6's John Burkett that officers found the victim in an upstairs bedroom with obvious signs of trauma. Those same sources say the suspect made the first 911 call. They have two sons. I do remember playing with one as a, as a kid. Um, they were always, you know, pretty friendly. Police are not yet releasing a possible motive for the crime. It sounds like it's a pretty dis uh, despicable thing that he uh, has been accused of committing. Um, he obviously hasn't been had his day in court yet, but uh, it sounds like it's a pretty despicable act. And right now, Barron is sitting inside his jail cell in Henrico County, waiting his day in court. If you stay with us later at 6 o'clock, that neighbor will share a message to this family that's grieving the loss of a loved one tonight.